The evolutionary history, modern biology and understanding of anatomy within humans is a complicated concept, a story riddled with rewrites and misconceptions to be corrected to an alternate understanding, only to be reconceptualized once again. So, with all these muddled responses, the archaeological and historical findings here are crucial to developing the modern understanding of our very own species. Sometimes glancing into the past gives us a window to the future, aiding an understanding of genes, ancestry and evolution down to our very bones. These have practical applications to medicine and modern advancements. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at biological and archaeological advancements in our understandings of humans. Pacific Islanders appear to be carrying the DNA of an unknown human species. For centuries, archaeologists, biologists and interested followers of science have held the belief that there are two ancient species of human relatives though recent findings appear to counter this widely spread assumption. In the South Pacific region, northeast of Australia, the DNA analysis of the population Melanesians has been found to contain traces of a human species outside of the binary we currently know of. This third, now seemingly extinct human species has never been seen before. The assumptions of Neanderthal and Denisovan being the only ancient species was derived from fossil records. Though now, despite a distinct lack of fossils indicating this, we have found a third, unknown, ancient, presumably extinct human strain of DNA within a living, modern society. How has this species evaded our research for so many years? This research comes as a result of new technology, allowing us to complete genetic modelling with greater accuracy, though this does not make the new data any less baffling. A statistical geneticist working at and representing the University of Texas, Ryan Bolander, stated, We're missing a population, or we're misunderstanding something about the relationships. He offered an alternative solution to the narrative most are expressing, explaining that perhaps this is not a new species, but rather resembles a misinterpretation or flaws in the data we currently have. Either way, this is groundbreaking and entirely revolutionizes the understanding of our own biology, history, development and evolutionary line. Bolender had headed up the team as lead researcher. He and his team have been looking for the percentages of this previously unseen branch of human DNA. This research into the exact percentages of hominid DNA has revealed anomalies and variations that suggests there is something more than a mere mixture of Neanderthal and Denisovans at play here. It appears we have a missing part to this puzzle. At the moment, we understand that somewhere between 100,000 and 60,000 years ago, the ancestors to the modern human race migrated out of Africa and moved towards the European and Asian mainland where the first contact was made between these two hominid species and communities. The impacts of this association linger still today, with the vast majority of European and Asian people having traceable genetic variations distinctive to the Eurasian Neanderthals within the modern society's lives. But some more recent advancements upon this established research came in 2016, with the understanding that people who are European of whom have European ancestors and therefore genetic traits and genomes that reflect those of the Neanderthals, have been found to have correlations with increased risks of depression, cardiovascular illnesses such as heart attacks, and numerous skin disorders. Furthermore, a separate study saw that what we now know as HPV was existent in these species, spread through intimate contact. The issues encountered within the possible discovery of a third human species comes through in the limited understanding of the species we already know of. Whilst we have established the existence and presence of both Neanderthals and Denisovan species, we have masses of documentation for Neanderthals, meaning our understanding is relatively advanced, and there is wide representation within our fossil records. Denisovans, on the other hand, we have very little evidence for, varying sparingly only to a single, long finger bone and a few teeth. These were found within a cave in Siberia in 2008. The confusing results of the 2016 study show a far more complicated map of human history, much less isolated and far more intertwined than we had ever imagined. 
Computer modeling predicts modern Europeans and Chinese people hold a 2.8% quantity of Neanderthal DNA. This is concordant with the pre-existing research, which ranged between 1.5 and 4% for all European and Asian peoples. These lines became far more blurred when conducting an analysis of Denisovan DNA. There appears to be no hint, trace or slightest appearance of Denisovan DNA in any European populations today, with a little over 0.1% trace within Chinese people's DNA. The Denisovan DNA for Melanesian populations, according to Bolender, does not align with the data previously collected. The new research team says the quantity of Denisovan DNA present is closer to 1.11%, not the 3-6% previously hypothesized. This is one indication of a third hominid group involved in reproduction. There appeared to be similarities but distinct variations away from Denisovan DNA, presenting the idea of a previously unstudied, third, unknown, identified group of hominids. The ideal outcome next would be to stumble across some fossils that confirm these suggestions. These findings are yet to undergo academic formality processes, such as peer review processes, meaning these suggestions may still fall under criticism, rendering them inconclusive. One possible complication is that we simply do not know enough about Denisovan DNA, as we have merely a single finger bone and a few teeth from which to draw these conclusions. This web is becoming more tangled, with new research being found both in support and contradiction. Regardless as to the conclusions drawn, this remains the sole, most comprehensive research into indigenous Australian groups, considering societies more than 50,000 years old. Whether the idea of a third hominid is dismissed or we find supporting evidence, these modern discoveries and research have told us just how complex our human history is and how remarkable that of all the possible variations and combinations, centuries, even millenniums of reproduction have accumulated to form today's humans. The seven human footprints are likely the oldest evidence of Homo sapiens on the Arabian Peninsula. The autumn of 2020 saw a remarkable archaeological discovery that gave us a glimpse into the lives of ancient humans, where we travelled and possible actions taken within daily routines. There were preserved human footprints found in Saudi Arabia's Nefert Desert, where a lake once sat. Researchers believe that this marks the presence of humans at the lake, but only for a brief interaction over 100,000 years ago. There has been an analysis of the rock around this area, concluding that the sediment dates to being between 112,000 and 121,000 years old. If this dating is in fact accurate, then this makes these seven human footprints the oldest evidence that we know of to support the presence of early Homo sapiens on the Arabian Peninsula. Biologist Matthew Stewart, affiliated with the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Ecology in Jena, Germany, and colleagues, explained that the ancient Homo sapiens were more than likely employing the site, referred to as Alathar, as a watering hole. Further explanations explain this is a likely spot to gather food due to neighbouring grasslands. However, many do not think that this was a regular visit as the research conducted upon the sediment indicated the lake had been shrinking, like many in the region in this time. Furthermore, very few hunting tools and animal bones being present implies a short-term visit too. Similar sites have found 107 camel footprints and 43 elephant footprints, though none of these carry as much scientific weight and potential for new studies as the human footprints found. New Ancient Human Species Bones Uncovered in the Philippines In the Philippines in 2019, human fossils were revealed within a cave on Luzon, a large island in the Philippines. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of these human fossils is the possibility that these early humans may have adapted to climb trees, illustrated through the curves found within finger and toe bones. This species has been considered to be distinct from Homo sapiens, acquiring the name Homo luzonensis. We are currently acting under the assumption that this ancient species lived 50,000 to 80,000 years ago, alongside the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. 
Dartmouth College, homo footbone expert Jeremy De Silva explains that this discovery mirrors the discovery of Homo floresiensis, nicknamed a hobbit, found within Indonesia. He stated, one is interesting, two is a pattern. His response suggests that we may be drawing close to potential breakthroughs in the field. A team way back in 2007 found a metatarsal. The discovery of this foot bone, also in Luzon, alongside the more recent findings, are indicative of a species that is definitely a member of the same genus as modern-day humans. The team also stumbled across two teeth, two finger bones, two toe bones and a femur. Although this cannot be guaranteed, current beliefs are that these belong to three separate people. Some experts remain sceptical, suggesting that more evidence is needed before we begin drawing concrete conclusions. Many are concerned as to the condition of DNA after all this time, as humid conditions can cause the deterioration of DNA rather rapidly, leading to a lack of validity in data. Whether this is a new ancient species related to modern humans or an expansion of a separate species within our genus, these bones are promising to the future of paleontological and archaeological research. Our history as humans is a jigsaw that we are still finding the pieces for, but with each new discovery we get a little closer to finding out just where we came from. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.